Ooh, there we go. Cool, that felt good. Ooh, it feels like a good one too. Nice. Long, fired off a long cast right off the bow to a little, little bit of isolated rock and gravel. No contour change at all. It's all side imaging. And look what lives on them. You know why you, you got big fish like this on here is because nobody knows of the spot. It's a little, little hidden gem. If I can get you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, huh? Nice fish on the DT-16. Spot tops off, this gravel spot tops off about 14 foot. So I'm over cranking it just a little bit, making sure I'm maintaining bottom contact. Cool. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just come in on a spot that I know is a high percentage spot. I'll come in with a bait, a bigger bait, aggressive bait, something like a crankbait and catch, try to catch that most active fish on the spot. And oftentimes it's one of the big ones, you know, you'll catch big fish on a bait like this, a crankbait. So fire out a long cast, get that rod tip down and get that bait to depth. Ooh, immediately, right? It's all about, it's all about lining up that casting angle and just repeating that exact same cast. Hoping, hoping those passengers on that jet airplane don't see this. Do a little belly cradle, cradle on him. Big thing is get, getting back out there quickly so you can stay on these guys. Getting them fired up with that crankbait. All right, another one. That one bit as I was getting that bait down to depth. And then when I feel that bottom, I'll just I'll start slow rolling it like that. I'll just crawl that crank on the bottom. Oop, missed it. He missed it. There we go. You see, he was following it. I got some pretty good water clarity down here. So that fish missed it. I I felt him miss that bait, and I just stayed on it. And there could have been another one in pursuit too. And then I got bit again. Look at that, I think I got him. That's a mouthful of DT if I've ever seen it. So I'd say that this is working. The key is a super long cast, you know, give that bait maximum time in the strike zone. And I'll, I'll reel a little faster on the front end of that cast just to drive that bait down to its maximum running depth, 16 feet in this case. And then look at that. I slow down and that bait is just working across the bottom, deflecting off the rocks, off the gravel. One thing with this cranking though, I'm cranking hard bottom. I'm not ripping a bunch of grass. So, you know, I like a rod with a good medium taper. And with that softer rod, if you skin hook a fish, you're not tearing those little VMC treble hooks out. You can, you know, get fish in the boat that if you had a stiffer combo, maybe braid or a stiffer medium heavy power rod, you'd, you'd just kind of tear that skin a little bit. So this is a kind of a good classic cranking rod. High end graphite, so I'm still feeling everything, but look at that taper, you know? Real forgiving with a deep diving crankbait like this. This is 13's NV Black Krankenstein, so it's just built exactly for what we're doing right now. And because the spot I'm fishing is 12 feet, 12 to 14 feet, and I'm fishing that DT-16, I'm still getting that bait down to the depth I want, even with that 14 pound fluorocarbon. So there's my boat. Right now it's pointed out that way, and if I were to cast off the bow, I'd be casting into outer space, so Basically, a nine o'clock cast is gonna run that crankbait right across the waypoints. That's one of the benefits of having a an external precision compass. It just gives you that precision orientation in relation to you know your surroundings. Basically, it allows you to line up a cast. Cast to individual fish that you mark, maybe at the council, or cast to key cover that you mark you know, when you're doing your scanning at the council. And this is Auto Chart Live. I, I've mapped this little spot here, this lake, you know, it's just a real rudimentary map. So what's interesting though, even though I custom mapped this at one foot contour interval, there's very little change. So had I not driven this spot with side imaging, I wouldn't know it exists because it's real small. And you can see the side imaging screen. It's just a little rough patch. It's, this is all bottom composition driven. That's why those bass were there. 